seat in the house. Is this all he has? Is the shield? It's America. <laughs> what? Echo! 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 What? Admiral! Admiral? I'm saying I heard you say Admiral. <laughs> that was very funny. Uh, you're gonna pay for that one. What's, what's happening? What is that? It's terrible. Is it, what is it? The music from Captain America. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and that was with my left hand. <laughs> I feel like a total dipshit right now. <laughs> and you look like one, two, thank you. <laughs> Play some Skinner. Uh, let's, we're, let's, okay, let's bring it back. All right, let's bring it back down. So angry with you. Uh, what's your question? Hi, Jensen. Hi there. I wanted to ask Can you dance? No. I wanted to ask you, did you ever get a script and by reading thought, no, that's too cruel, I'm not going to do that, because I, there were so many moments when I thought, how can you do that to my favorite character? <laughs> like, how could Dean do that to somebody? No, the writers. Oh, how the writers. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of times there's uh, um, there's things I read there. I'm like, oh wow, okay. Um, that's we're going there. Um, and then if I, really, if I have a big problem with it, I will call and say, do we have to? Um, and if there is a very logical explanation as to why this is gonna happen because of something that is gonna happen in the future, then I will acquiesce and I will say, okay, that's fine. Let's do that. Um, but it's gotta be a pretty good reason sometimes. So, uh, otherwise I will, I will fight. And I don't fight very hard. I mean, it's, I, I can count one finger how many times I've gone into the head writer's office and said, I have a problem, a real problem with this, can you explain it to me? Um, and he did, and that was, and I said, okay, I feel much better about it, thanks. And then I went into the actual writer who wrote what I was, my issue was about, and I said, I want to understand it also from your perspective. And that was fine, and I was okay with it. Um, and then, uh, and then that's really the only time that's ever, and every time, everything else I pretty much trust that they have a really good idea of, where they're, of what they're doing, where they're going, even though sometimes it might hurt, sometimes we might lose a character, sometimes a character might get hurt in a way that, you know, sure, like you said, that's all part of the, it's all part of the story, so you just keep going with it. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah, thank you. Hi. Hi. Uh, first of all, thank you so much for coming. I love you so much. Uh, my question... Thank you. <laughs> Even after what just happened? Okay. Especially after what just happened. Of course. <laughs> uh, my question is about the episode where Dean uh, kills Kane. He goes alone for the purpose of killing him, but when he finally gets the chance, he sort of stops and kind of hesitates. Why do you think that is? Why did he hesitate when, in, instead of just killing him after he cut off his hand? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Um, because Dean at that point wanted to know if Cain was capable of stopping what he was doing. Because Dean wanted to know that it was possible, which would give him hope that he could stop feeling what he was feeling. 
and because Cain said, I will never stop, that was, that was basically Dean realizing that he's not going to be able to, to fix this inside him, and, and now he's worried that he will never be able to stop. And that was that moment of, you know, please tell me, please tell me that you can stop this. It's basically, please tell me you can turn this off. Because if you can turn it off, that means I can turn it off. And when he said that I couldn't turn it off, then that meant that Dean was like, great, now I guess that means that I'm not gonna be able to do it either. And that was very, I mean, you see, I, I tried to anyway, I tried to portray that, where it, it kind of lands on Dean, which is why he, you know, he gets teary, almost teary-eyed and upset, because now he, he has the realization that that this isn't, this isn't fixable. And that was what that moment was. Okay, thank you so I'll much. I'll do a better job of acting next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Thank you very much. Hi. Hi, Jensen. Um, I was wondering what was your funniest prank that you called on Misha in the last season? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there must be a remarkable one. I think a, a, there's there's kind of a recurring one that, that I I don't use it often, but I use it I use it when it's needed. <laughs> and it is always on his coverage. The camera's on him. And if there's a you know, sometimes a lot of the scenes that, that Dean and Cass have are you know, they're they're fairly serious scenes and it's you know <laughs> and then we both have to go get like some sort of throat coating tea to <laughs> fix up the damage we've just done to our vocal cords. Um, but Sometimes in those moments when they're really serious and it's on, it's on Misha, the camera's on Misha's face. Sometimes I just like to, can you, can you zoom in? Can you zoom in on the camera there? Yeah, there. So sometimes I, I just like to go like this. Just a little, just a little like. And he loses it. <laughs> and to me, it's just so enjoyable <laughs> to watch him. And sometimes he tries to fight it, like he'll get the, hmm. <laughs> nope. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not this time, Jetson. <laughs> okay, you got me. You can't hold it together, and it's, I love it. It's so some you know, Jared is like these big, like he'll be like kicking him in the shin <laughs> while while he's doing his coverage, and I'm just you know, I'm a little bit more subtle than that. <laughs> Works like a charm. <laughs> so you can ask me about that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi. Oh, is that it? Hi. Oh, I got it. Okay, one last question, really quick. I'll answer it really quickly. Um, if Demon Dean, the one from the beginning of the season 10, um, was to meet Soul as Seven from season 6, how would you think it would turn out? Would they fight? Would they get along? Uh, soul as Sam was still a human without a soul. Demon Dean is a demon. <laughs> and in, in, you know, in, in the history of Supernatural has a little a little more power than a human. Granted, Sam and Dean know ways to kill demons, and that's that's fine. But if it's just a mano a mano, then I would have to go with Demon Dean. Okay. Unless he gets whipped with the hair in the face, and then <laughs> all bets are off. Guys, thank you very much. I apologize for the dancing. Yeah, not my fault. Thank you.